guys, Crew Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. And we're back. What? No. Get we're back man. with Vikings. You left. Last time on Vikings, Baldur. It was called, and it was uh, that was the name of Ivar's son, mm -hmm. who is <laughs> no more. Yeah. Probably. I don't think. Unless we pick up immediately from last episode. Yeah, I, I don't think the world was good for that kid. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we had uh, we had that with, with Ivar. We had uh, Floki going into uh, a cave and a volcano. It looked the like. mouth of hell. Yeah, the mouth of hell. As he called it. Um, so we'll see what he finds there. I'm really interested in what's going to be happening there. Hopefully something Probably ice comes bags. of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, and, I, and I'll say this again. I said last time. That story was kind of boring, but I'm really happy with the conclusion of it. Everybody yes. I'm happy that it conclu I'm happy that it concluded, but I'm very happy also yeah. with the actual story element. And then we're, where we're going to go from here, we'll see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Vitserk with a, a Buddha-like Viking, and mm -hmm. after some torture in Asana, they the decide... The climate. Yes, they decide they're going to go and attack Ivor. Yep. Um, as is Bjorn and Harold, uh, right? Okay. Yes. And then we have Ube, who is about ready to go into a one-on-one -on -one combat for the sake of Alfred in England and his new settlement yep. against um, I some think Danish, Danish Vikings. Yeah, he's a Dalish, not Dalish king. He's right? Dalish. It's yeah. Nidish, Nidish, uh, Nidish. Danish king. Yeah, Nidish. he's going to be fighting Frodo. Frodo. Okay. Yes. Uh, we had a poll last time. Let's yep. see what it was. Let's see what that was, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. The poll was, which of Ragnar's son's story are you most invested in? 3% was the honorable mention, Magnus. 6% Vitserk. 12% Ivar. 29% Bjorn. 48% Ube. There you go. Sounds right. Even though I was the 6% Vitserk. <laughs> well, I was like the 8% or whatever Ivar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scott from Scotland says, History has already told us their stories, but the show tells them all so well, and we get to see uh, it happen for the first time. They are all so interesting. Bjorn's journey is my favorite so far in the show. <laughs> Booty Pup says, It is a hard choice for me, but I have to pick Vitserk and Ivar together because they are so closely involved together. Mm. I think Vitserk, along with Ivar, have so much to gain. <laughs> And so much to lose. Josh Borman says, Ivar, because you either love to hate him or hate to love him. Angry Bob Ross, I'm still shook from Floki's speech to Edge. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was oh, one of the no. best speeches. That was, In hell, show. that was a hell of a speech, man. Ah, that episode was so good. I was thinking about it all week. Morris Muff 2.0 says, Ube, Ube, Ube. A lot of people are saying Ube, Ube, as is Diego. Yep. Uh, Jamie says, I've been rooting for Ube since he grew up in the time skip, although I feel Vitserk has the most to gain. Yeah. Uh, Dip says, I'm going to say Vitserk uh, just because I like when characters in the show experience and explore new religions. Hmm. It's never been disinteresting. Yeah. Call Dip says, my boy, my boy Bjorn lost his touch, and I can't resist Ube's sexy blue eyes anymore. Hey. Ube for the win. TV Alex, Ivar is my favorite character, but I'm enjoying Ube's story the most at this moment. No one explained why they voted for Magnus. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Well, how many votes were there total? 10,000. That's all they needed to 335. <laughs> so only like, it's only like nine people voted for it. Good comment, Calvin. And then, okay, we'll end with uh, Rogni, and they say Ube's journey this season and his alliance with Alfred, challenging Ragnar and Athelstan, which was the heart of the show from the start, yeah. has definitely been the highlight for me and those blue eyes. Like, come on. Yeah, I agree. I agree with everything okay. there. All right, well, we're going to pull the end of this episode, and we got to react to this episode, and we kind of start the reaction by hitting the... Start with Floki. <sighs> I hope he finds the Susan O'Connor Cave. That was her name. <laughs> Man, I hope his story bears fruit. I hope he doesn't fall and get stuck in a crevice. I hope he does. Yeah, he doesn't get stuck in a ever increasingly small cave. Oh wait. What? Oh, dude. What, Calvin? Explain. I think I've been in this cave. You have not been in this cave. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, this is the cave behind my house. No. Calvin, you do not recognize the rock. They're shooting us in the studio. I'm pissed right now. They went to a real cave. I thought Barry went into flash time for a second. What? So time has gone by a little bit. Is it Judith? Yeah. Is she dead? No, she's not no, dead. No, she's not dead. Okay. She looks dead. She looks very dead, except for her being alive. That's it.
Not a single line has been spoken. I don't wish cancer on anyone, but I'm not sad for her. I'm sad for him. Sad for him, yeah. 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 Damn, okay. Well, we just flew past some shit, I guess. You have a duty now to repay her love by becoming a great king. That's gonna be great. And I will be your seer. I feel like Ubi's gonna lose. I don't think he's gonna die, so maybe I'm wrong. It's the death, isn't it? Yeah. Ah! He's just gonna win. He'll win, but I still wanna see it. He's always been a really strong uh, performer when it comes to choreography. Yeah. Shit, she's seeing shit. Oh, just flashbacks. There's your memory. Oh, my mans. That's my mans right there. Huh? <sighs> the crazy oh, one? Ragnar? Take some of your hair. Oh, yeah, your hair is short. This is why we need Ugh. universal health care. Huh? No! I renounce my religion, I'm out. No! Oh, I hate this. It's bigger than it looks. Oh, I know what Aaron feels like now when he sees needles. No! I hate that! Uh. Oh! Oh, there goes the shield. I gotta say, the Danish Vikings look cool. Yeah. Like all the dark coloring and... Oh, man. Ragnar's son. You gotta prove it to him. Let's see Ragnar. Sweeping moves, man. Yeah. I mean, you're dead. Right? Oh man. Jujitsu. They watch rivals. Apparently. <laughs> Keep his head against the ground. You can hit him hard. Oh. 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 This is a. a this is one of the best fights Vikings has done. Yeah. It's brutal. Oh, damn. Jeez, he looks out. Ah, uh, fuck. Come that's on, that's a, like a... Huh. He's evoking the old gods. Oh, that's a Christian one. Oh, shit. Yep. You're done, buddy. Hey, cross the line. It's farming time, baby. Harvest moon. Uba has won. <laughs> the son of Ragnar has won. That guy started it. He started the yeah. slow clap. <laughs> the guy right there, he's like, come on, damn it. Let's go. Never had my name chanted. Never? Like Whiteley? No, they're saying fat, fat, fat. Yeah, Whitely. right. <laughs> white, whoa, white, whoa. <laughs> What have you done to him? Never mind, Twaze. What is your excuse for producing such a monster? Huh? You promised me! You promised me a beautiful child! He was our child! Where is my baby? Charlie? No, don't touch it. What happened when you touched it, Coward? I didn't touch it. Oh, <laughs> Stick oh shit. Cool. They're coming! Okay. They're coming! I mean, that would just be devastating, wouldn't it? I'm so happy I live in the modern world. I was up there fucking watching shit on my phone, flying over this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Just don't that stand by the side. Magnus. I guess he's never Man, crossed the sea. they got him sea. back. He's never crossed the sea, has no. I get motor sickness so bad. What? This is like the third scene of him just looking around. He's gonna <laughs> find something, Eric. He's gonna find something fucking awesome. Across? Christians have been here? This is his holy land. How would they be? How would they be here? They got here somehow. <laughs> oh, poor Floki. He thought he was coming here for some kind of Norse enlightenment. <laughs> Damn. This place is nothing for him. Armageddon in the asteroid. Oh, God damn it. Damn. Now 
I'm thinking about how a fitting ending that would be for Floki. But I don't want it to be the ending, you know? Yeah. That was a great shot. Camera's going through the water. Yeah. You need to hire this cinematographer. Yeah. Just have him it's such a great cinematographer. Film us. You bleed like any other man. Oh, shit. Like any other man. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Now he just pissed off. Same move, three. two different shots. Yeah. Oh. 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 You are both so stupid. <laughs> I love that. That was so good. Oh, I love that. It's such a good production, man. Like, it's so believable yeah. that they're there. Uh, they're with the Dane Vikings. Yep. Yeah. Settling. <laughs> These guys in the back are just waving. Ducks! Yay! Don't get trapped. Ducks. ducks! Ducks! And donkey. Oh, what a deal. Damn. Oh, who the hell are these people? Here is your new world. The world that Ragnar Lothbrok promised you. And his son, Uber. Has delivered to you. Yeah. This is the beginning of something new for all of us. This is good. I want the work out. That was such a great line. Yeah. Ragnar, do you see this? This is our dream. I'm so glad it's still like about his vision. Mm -hmm. Man, makes me emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Continue. Carry on! Man, he's breaking. Mm -hmm. They have found our son. I don't want to see you like. Well, they that. have found part of him. Hunters. They were killing foxes, and in their den they found. Fuck. After everything I did for you. After everything that you did for me. <laughs> Is he really my son? Where's he? Uh. You see, I'm not so sure anymore. You lied to me. You lied to me. Everything you ever said was a lie. He doesn't know that. Don't kill her, man. They here too? Oh, they're on the other mountain? <laughs> Look at us first. Oh, they all just attacking Cadigan or what? Yeah, well, here we are. Damn, another fantastic shot. Yeah. Did you have realized your father's dream? Three thousand Danes have gone to the settlement. Three thousand? Three thousand. Something has changed inside me. This cross means nothing to me. It speaks so other people can hear it. It doesn't speak to me. How could I fight for a Christ God? Some stranger. I was filled with the spirit of Odin. Thor. And Frey. So much to thank you for. He's fucked up. The Lord bless yeah. and keep you. If it's all right with you, Ube, I want to come with you. It's yeah. time for me to go home. He is so fucked. His face. He is more fucked up every shot, isn't he? King Harald and my brother Bjorn have abandoned York, and the Saxons have retaken the city. Things have changed. Hey. Oh, oh, brother! <laughs> this is one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> my people, we will not venture out. We will see. not attack you. Next episode. Yeah. That one. Yeah. I really like the episode. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting with the Floki stuff. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting he's gonna walk in there, he's gonna get be demoralized, a Christian cross. and then he's a cave. Fell <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> just. I mean, he just. You think he's, he's dead? No. Uh, I hope not. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's dead. He, his legs may be crushed or something like that. But I want you know. Obviously, we're gonna have a big giant battle for Cadigan next episode. I think. And at the end, I just want fucking Floki just shows up at the end. He's a new seer for whoever wins. That's what I want. Yeah, that, that's what I want as well. It would be but, a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah. He just gives up <laughs> on that place. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I, you know I, that implies that, that Christians have been there at least a while, right? Yeah. I mean, it can't be that long. When does this take place around? It's like 1300, I think. Yeah. That's when it takes place. 
And you know, I mean, with the graven images and stuff like no. that. It would have had to have been way before that. I don't know. Either way. Uh, it also shows like, that people... I think like 1,100 maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. It also shows that no one survived in that land. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's like... It's not even a trace of them except for in the, just deep in this volcano that blows yeah. up when yeah. you're down there. You know, it's like <laughs> the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. There's no, except there's no damn genie. <laughs> no, no genie. Okay, so what do you think will win? That's kind of a question. Well... I mean, there's so much stacked against Ivar. Ivar yeah. has nothing but. What, what are they going to do next there? season? I don't know. I mean, he has time to prepare and stuff like that. Yeah. Because Olaf's army is moving across land. Mm-hmm. Yeah. King Harold's army doesn't know where the fuck they are yet. And there's there's people that know where they are, so it's probably going to get back to Ivar. Yeah. I mean, they'll have their defenses in place and stuff. I I, I don't know exactly what will happen. Or, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm really interested to see it. It'd be it'd be. Good if they were in the middle of preparing their defenses mm-hmm. and everybody came. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, the the show just like will completely skip over like a lot of time. I mean, yeah. Last episode or two episodes ago, she was like, "Huh, what's that?" And then she's like, "I'm sick," and then dead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it, and she's such a she is a long running character. I mean, yeah. granted, I've always hated her. Yeah, but like she's lasted on this show for a very long time, and then yeah. she just like. She had to be like, all right, let's see the script, you know, and turn page, and you die. I didn't say anything, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. It's a much, much <coughs> more ceremonious death than uh, Aether Wolf. Aether Wolf. Can you imagine Aether Wolf getting his script? You know, all right, what do I do? The beast thinks, oh, shit, I'm dead. No, it's like he, he turns past. It's like, okay, well. Where are my lines? I guess I'm done for this show. <laughs> no, you die. What? That's insane. Shit! We had one of the best fights, I think, in, in Viking, all of Vikings. I really enjoyed the fight with Ube and Frodo. Yeah. Uh, Aethel White Wolf, though, for me. No, that was, the tower fight is the best, I think. Yeah. And then, I really like, you know, Ragnar versus uh, Rollo. Was Rollo good. was like, yeah. on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. That was good. Yeah. Um, or just, <gasps> hammer, <gasps> yeah, hammer Viking. Yeah, that hammer, ah, uh, hammer Viking. But mm-hmm. this one's pretty great. Yeah, it, was, that was, it, it really felt like just brutal. Some stuff you guys got. Well, you know, Judas just fucking dead, and we had uh, it was it was sad, but like you know, I think re- like what Lagatha was was telling uh, Alfred. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, she did accomplish her mission, I guess. Like I, I felt some Siri, not seriness, like some like old wise person type personality there, Ar- like the archetype of the old wise person. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and she was kind of emotionless. Someone mentioned at one time her being the seer. I don't think it's going to happen, but she's in like this this role now where you know we saw her in a- we saw her have kids, we saw her in action. She was a pivotal character. Now it's, she's like this yeah. supporting character. I think like, she's she's like a she's retired. Yeah, like yeah. Her, yeah. I, I think her character's going to maybe go into this support type role. Probably. Well, she went along with Ube and yeah, and mm-hmm. uh, the days. But a part of me kind of feels like maybe. Hopefully, uh, Ragnar's job can be realized and they can just have peace and settle there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, great. I think that should be the end of the show, you know, but I, I just don't want them to be, all right, well, this, you know, they have some kind of civil war or something. Yeah. Like, I don't I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. And, like, they're intermixing, like, two different Vikings. So, like, who's a leader? And that's what I was kind of wondering. I mean, this is, this is Ube's thing, you know. Yeah. They're coming here to live. Um, yeah, you know the, the Vikings have shown democracy before too. When yeah, it comes to yeah. And stuff. So the party's continuing with that. Okay. I don't yeah. know if they have like an Earl of Wessex or wherever they are. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty old democracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Eric. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. So Bjorn is sailing, but dude, I was looking at that thing. Imagine just doing it for hours. Rings for, beating for on you. Days. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's like that for days, but definitely. Maybe I, I mean just to get those shots and stuff. Yeah, well, like, I mean for the actors, yeah, that, that would suck. I'm just thinking about it's like, probably worse for them than it is actual Vikings going across the sea because at least the Vikings get somewhere. They're just sitting there getting rained on. Yeah, yeah. If they, if they don't get their shot, then they have to do it tomorrow. But That's they fun. know they're not going to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Man, but oh, dude, that would suck. What do you guys think about uh, uh, Harold and Bjorn's fight? I loved it. The, it was, fight, the actual fight was good. Yeah, and just. The character moment, uh, I, I, whatever her name is, a wife coming in between them. Good old dear. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Even though it wasn't great as far as choreography, 
as far as like the wrap up and everything like that, I just love the the character yeah. of that fight. Yeah, you know, Harold How has always like, like he's that. always he's been like, like that. Uh huh. He's always been like you know one day you know, but not now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, was, that, that was yeah. cool. That little moment. They're like, oh, okay, she's right. I don't know what's what was more hype or not hype, but what was more manly of a of an embrace was the the check or the hug with, of the Viterk. hug with yeah. Viterk was like I love that. There was, was like way to like. <laughs> that was a good moment because they just don't have all no, these moments really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Was... Bjorn like rarely shows like the type of affection to those brothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it was devastating to just imagine that baby being eaten by foxes. I, I hope he yeah. was dead before. Yeah. That just that was just completely devastating to hear. So. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think she's gonna do? She she's not in support of Ivar anymore. She's like she she's has, like, a, like Governor Schwarzenegger's wife. You know she's supportive right until he's a, he's done with his campaign yeah. and then they get divorced. Uh, yeah, she, I mean because you got remember she wanted to be in power too. That's why she did all this. Mm-hmm. She wanted to be queen. She's still queen, and she doesn't want to go back to not being a queen. I'm sure. Yeah. And not having all the things that come with being a queen. You know what I mean I think yeah. she'd rather be unhappy and be a queen. Personally, like well, Lagatha is like a stronger I, woman. I, f- I feel like at this point she would rather fuck over Ivar, and to punish him for what he did to to their baby, to her baby. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, she doesn't. Yeah. I mean, she knows some things that could put him in some hot water at some inopportune yeah. times. Yeah, she sees what he does to people. Yeah. Who... I mean, if if that happened, I wouldn't be surprised. If it didn't happen, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, so, I don't know. So you have no citation. <laughs> no, I get you. Yeah, no. I mean, I mean it's, it's it's also like. I think kind that of secondary to I think the actress has kind of a a limited range, so it's kind of hard to read what their the intention is, you know. Yeah, I thought her performance when she's getting choked. I mean, when they're arguing, was a little restrained. But uh, I also think how many people back then die. All the kids you have sure. that die, you might not be as upset as you were today. Sure. But uh, well, I just felt like, the, especially the first scene, you know, like anytime she says the word baby and and that, I'm always like, yeah, it's very throaty. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. She's kind of like a very high, shrill voice that kind of like cracks and like hit, hits the high like vocal point of her range, you know? Yeah. yeah just a little grating here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I love when Lagatha was picked up the dirt, said, Ragnar, this is our dream. You know, we had 3,000 Danes settling there. I think one of the best things I ever heard was you know, Ragnar Lothbrok promised this Ube delivered. I loved it. Yeah, loved it so that, was, much. that was great. It was so fucking awesome. What yeah. Do you, what do you guys think of Ube? Uh, you know, Reconverting, or maybe just kind of admitting, hey, I just wanted what was best for my people. I know that it could be a big argument saying this, but there, there's a, there's, a, I think it's a good argument to say that you don't choose your beliefs; you're convinced of your beliefs. You know, like you can't just choose to believe something else. You have to; it has to happen to you. You have to, you have to experience it and be convinced. And and it, whenever you really change, it can be a unless you're raised moment. in it. Uh, true. Yeah, but yeah. when you're but raised, you're being raised to convince. You're yeah. Convinced, you know, that's why most people, you know, they they have a, a, a special. But there's thing. no coming to a coming to moment. I think when you're raised. Um. True. Yes. Yeah. Like, well, there's, I mean, there's, some there's, people is a, a part of who you are, and it's true. I mean, and you could be a casual. Like a, I know yeah. a lot of Catholics who I love very much. Uh, my buddy, he was raised at, that way, mm-hmm. and he's pretty. But he seems like a casual. Kind of Catholic, well, but most, it's just so ingrained into most American Catholics are like that. Yeah, like it's yeah. weird because like he drinks, smokes, cusses all the time, and I went and he he's a guy who works yeah. at Greenleaf, good guy, right? I went over there one time and I was knocking for him. I called him. He's oh sorry, I was in my prayer room. Yeah, like, what the hell are you doing in there? He's like, I was going there to pray for like an hour. I'm like really? He's like fuck yeah. I'm yeah. like, and then he's like fuck yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and it's just weird because like he chew and he's doing like he's chewing tobacco. Sure. Why he's doing it? Which I'm not saying that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. But if it, it feels like against like. The image you have of like this good old boy. Yeah, you know well, it, it's just it's just how you were raised. Because I mean, you go to Mexico, the, you go to Catholicism there, and it's completely different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Some people would use the word, you know, I don't necessarily believe this, but harsh critics would call it indoctrination. But I, I think it's just that's how you're raised. That's that's your operating system. You know. Yeah. Um, and it's I think with Ube, it's like he he thought like he used a line. This cross speaks to others, but uh, and other people hear it, but I did not hear it. It does yeah. not speak to me. Yeah, I so that was really interesting. Yeah, was, like, was he's using one. it as like a. I think he wanted to not use it for a, just a personal political gain. Yeah. yeah. But he realized he did do that. And yeah. He's accepting what you know he's convinced of, which is the yeah. Norse gods. Yeah, which is. Well, I mean, he was given this ultimatum, which yeah was a different. It was a difficult thing for anybody. I mean, he chose the right thing 
because of the goal that he wanted. You yeah. know, he did want that for his people. He didn't have any other choice sure. but to do that. You know, so yeah, I can I can see why he wanted to believe that so that he didn't feel bad. It's like, oh, I'm just using uh, mm-hmm. Alfred. But it turned out that he was doing that, you know, yeah. without maybe even realizing Yeah, I, I was so. wondering his level of belief because we didn't have, like, those, like, a personal moment by himself where, like, like we did with that, what we did with uh, Athelstan, mm-hmm. like where he, he he personally was conflicted with what he believed. Yeah, with his with I mean not some but with uh, Ube, like I wasn't sure. You know what I mean? I yeah. thought it was like, well, he's going through the motions. Yeah, doing what he needed to do, and I wasn't sure what he emotionally believed. Well, yeah. and then we also have the flip side of this with Magnus. Yeah, when he was afraid for his life, he appealed to Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know? and he says like you know. You can tell he doesn't want to, but he can't help it, you know? Yeah. Because, it, like I said, like it's, it's hard to choose those things. Yeah. So, so I thought you, that was interesting. Do you think, do you think he's, like, yeah, I, I, I was wondering, do you think he believes in uh, in the Norse gods, or do you think he is a Christian? Or do you, th- well, you know what I mean? That's what I was wondering. Um, I, I think it's it's really hard to shake things that you, you're around when you're a kid. I think he's, like, convincing yeah, I think like I believe that he was like raised as a Christian, yeah, and he defaults to that when he's like in trouble, yeah, yeah, you because know, it's a habit, sure. But he's like wanting to be a part of this tribe that he vow, you know what I'm saying, like part of Ragnar's tribe. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I get that, you know. Um, I, I guess it's a lot of the, the the theme of the show or this episode was kind of like the uncovered truth of the matter when it comes to faith. Like, Floki is constantly searching, 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 and he gets to where he thinks he's going to get what he wants and what mm-hmm. he needs, and he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. He uncovers nothing. He's like Job. <laughs> you know? This whole thing has been nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I still loved the last episode when he, like, threatened Flat Nose and being like, yeah. if I was the old Floki, oh, my God, you'd be the mayor of Fuxville. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. But... He's like, I'm not that person anymore. But when he gets here and when he was just giggling, you know, Mm -hmm. and disbelief and and all this kind of thing, it's, I have no idea where he's going to go. And now he's buried under the mountain. When I said it's a fitting end, I don't mean like emotionally for me. Yeah. But I think like story wise, everywhere he's gone and like he puts his faith, his absolute faith in the gods. And once again, he's let down. Yeah. Yeah. It might be like a fitting end for a story arc. Though I'm not done with that guy. Yeah. I need Gustav to show back up, put some fucking eyeliner on. Pick Fuck yeah. Ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like, shave you. his head and put yeah. lines over the top of his head like yeah. that? No, oh, do, you, do you think they'll be able to recover, uh, Ivar and Freitas, or do you think the relationship is just done now? I think he's disillusioned to the point where... Because he, he, he didn't once say that he was a god and all to these people. He talked about the gods and their will yeah. and being yeah. obedient to the gods well, he did, and their verdict. He did call his son glowing and... And stuff like that. Like, yes. He was divine, but then they chose to take him back. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But he seemed more restrained on his godhood yeah. than he was before. Yeah. He's evoking that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. Now, he, in this episode, he didn't. That sh- I mean, just shot of Ube talking to uh, his girl, whatever her name Torby. is. Torvi. It was like one long shot. Mm-hmm. He's down to the camera. That one blue eye because the other one swelled up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool. His face yeah. is fucked. So I know we said it like eight times the reaction. But his, that man's yeah. face is fucked. His face is the deputy mayor of Foxville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys want to check out some Q&As? Yeah. yeah. I got some here. Day Sh- uh, Shugless, where do you see the Wessex storyline going in the future? Everything seems to be okay now that the Dane army has seemingly given up the sword in exchange for the plow. Also, what do you see happening with Ube and his now renewed faith? So, uh, now that Ube, had, they, they've settled, Lagatha's there, Torvi's there, the Dane kings are there. Everybody seems happy. What? Where we go from here with that? I don't know. If he's no longer Christian, does the uh, does the deal that he and Alfred have still hold? I think it does. Because yeah. he didn't throw the cross away. He accepted like I need this. I do this because it speaks to others. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, I think, think he's good. Ube's smarter than that. Yeah. Like Floki, he would throw it away. He would. Yeah, but and he would. He would be Bjorn would throw very it away upset too. for you even considering. Yeah. Using yeah. it. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. like, like Ragnar, I think Ube is sensible. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, Holly uh, Chasen says, Is Bjorn going to kill Magnus for what that woman told him? And how great was the duel between Ube and King Frodo? 
Uh, and yes, you were right about that being his name. <laughs> Frodo. Yeah, Frodo. Frodo. Yeah. Um, so... Do you think Bjorn might kill Magnus because of the, uh, no. the revelation? I, I don't know. I, I don't mean, know that he'll kill him. Yeah. I would. I. I. Ube, not Ube. Bjorn sometimes has that like irrational, in my opinion, irrational like. Oops, not for the gods. Everything's gone, dead, destroy it all. You know. Yeah. Uh, very flo- He sometimes falls into the Floki side of things. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I admire their conviction. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, like, they're sticking their beliefs to the end. Sure. But, like, I hate when it fucks things up for my other characters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, in a, in a lot of religions, there's the idea of being an apostate. Like, mm-hmm. you have committed yourself, you've proclaimed your faith, and all that stuff. And then when you give it up, well, that's the worst sin you could possibly have. Yeah. I don't know if Magnus necessarily gotten to the point where he could become an apostate. No. You know? So. Yeah. But I also don't know how the Vikings treat that, too. Yeah. Um, Skeletor, do you guys, uh, do you think Bjorn, do you like Bjorn this second part of the season? I think he comes off as a bit of a bully or a spoiled child a bit, even a bit ungrateful for Alfred's hospitality and shows no respect for King Harold at any point. Bjorn is a bear of a man, but he has evolved least. Um, I can definitely see where he's coming from. For me, though, like, as much as I can get, like, annoyed or frustrated with Bjorn, all it takes is one screaming hug for me to just be back on his side, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, I didn't like... he's I, such I, a loyal man to his friends, I think. You I, know, I haven't liked his attitude, but he hasn't, like, fucked things up for Ube and Alfred. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and, he and he's left. And he's going yeah. to where I've been wanting him to go for a while, is back yeah. to Kattegat to take it. So, you know, he's a little rough around the edges, but he's, 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 he's a cool character, dude. I can't dislike him. He didn't do anything I absolutely was contrary to my other characters, you know? Yeah. Magnus says, Part of me really wants to live back then, where everything that isn't easily explained is aside from the gods. No, Floki. It's just a fucking volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Would not want to live back then. I'll tell you that right yeah. now. Because, Pete, you can live now and think that. Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? And then Magnus also says, Oh, yeah. Did that bitch Judith really just open her eyes to die? That was really necessary, Judith. She's so extra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got wow. uh, Matt Thacker. What's up? What's up? Uh, do you think Floki is dead? And do you believe Vitzerk will be the one to deal the last blow to Ivar? I think he don't think deserves Ivar. I think Vitzerk. If Ivar were to die, yeah, I'd want Ivar. To do it. Yeah, I, I, I think Vitzerk yeah. definitely. Because Ivar, there's Ivar. been so many scenes of Ivar being like, "Do you regret?" Jumping off that boat? You know? Yeah. And he's like, no, shut up. Me that and I wanted to be like the end of being like, I regret it. And he kills him, you know? But yeah. I also like to, I like Ivar around. I like to hate him. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with all that. And I'm then uh, sure. Floki dead? I don't, nope. I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Nope. I no. Know. I hope he may be, be he may be injured terribly. Yeah. At the most, I think he just got hit by a rock and he got knocked down. Yeah. But, I, yeah, he, I, he's still alive. How the hell does he get out of there? I mean, there was... I mean, there was light coming in from from the far end of that cave that he went to. Behind him, where he walked into the into the mouth of hell, that collapsed. That got covered up. But forward, he should still be able to get out, I think. So also, there was some if, kind of an eruption. I'm not sure yeah. you know, how much or to the degree. I don't think it was like a Pompeii thing. Yeah. No. Well, it's also very implied that there have been people here before, so they might have dug out like alternate vent- ventilation shafts, too. Or use the... Ventilation the, shaft. <laughs> or use the volcanic True. vents yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, the magma cooled and yeah. stuff like that it could have sealed off and not trapped the gases and stuff inside and then yeah. it could have just come in these natural caves the Thack also says do you think Ivar knows Freitas cheated on him for a baby I think he suspects the part of him that doesn't believe he's a god suspects it yeah yeah I mean like but I, I, whenever I, she I was really like I'm pregnant sh- the first thing I would have thought of was like well wasn't me had to be some other guy or it's immaculate no, the, and I'm the, a god the, the, I don't know the way she you brought know? it up like I, I believed he thought it was immaculate at first, yeah, for sure. He had bad think, reasons for believing, but he had reasons. Yeah, I think he ha- he believed the same way that Ube believed that he was a Christian. Yeah. Okay. He or wanted not, to believe it so much that yeah, it's just how he worked it out in his head. Yeah. Worked out for Joseph and Mary. That's Benji. Immaculate. I know. <laughs> Benji. I believe was. Benji says, do you think the old Ivar will come back now? Also, did you realize at the end that they were chanting Hail Ivar, not Hail the God Ivar, and he was fine with it? I didn't uh, they were saying Ivar Odin, Ivar Odin, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they're pretty on the same page as Odin. I, 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 that's how I took it to yeah, be. Yeah, me too. But, yeah. 
Um, but will the old Ivar come back? Are we going to have a, a return to... To General Ivar? To just, like, Ivar the Boneless and not Ivar the God. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, so. I, I definitely think he was just more restrained in that respect. So. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think, he's, I think he's eating crow. <coughs> yeah. With the bones. Damn it, God. I had fish bones. They're disgusting. We had to have a poll for this episode. Yep. Yep. Um... I'm going to say either is Floki, do you think Floki's dead or alive? He's not dead. Okay, uh, who who has the right to kill Ivar? Everyone knows Fitzirk. Fitzirk. <laughs> Everyone knows how about Dirk? Dirk? How about does, uh, I mean, these are good does ideas. Stratus and Ivar, I mean, I mean, are, are they, uh, is their relationship mm-hmm. a, pl- a political thing now, or is there any, is there any more love between them? Yeah. Something with that, more, more, less eloquently spoken. All right, so guys, poll for this episode, uh, we're going to be talking about what happens next episode. Mm-hmm. That is, who do you think wins the Battle of Catechon? Now, I, I, I suppose we can only really give two options, Ivar or not Ivar. Yeah. Because there's so yeah. many different ways that Ivar could lose. Yeah. Um, I guess we can maybe put more options, but I think those two are pretty concise, and you can put down what you think is going to happen in the comments. Yeah. And then next episode, we'll know immediately if you're right or wrong. I think Ivar loses. I think Vitserk is the one that maybe kills him. Yeah, that's what I would say. Okay. I'm going to say I, I'm going to say Ivar loses, and he's not killed yet. Mm. But he loses. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, um, yeah. The answer would be, uh, yeah, that uh, Ivar loses. Okay. But I don't agree with the other part. Yeah. I I definitely agree that Ivar should lose. He may not lose immediately. That mm. might be that might be the cliffhanger for next season. It carries over the next season. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Do some I, revision? Uh, yeah. Because what, what if he wins, but then they had to go get the other Vikings from Wessex and make a huge grand army, and then that's like the finale of the series finale. I, mm. I don't know. I mean, the Danes have already settled. I don't think they would take up their sword again against Ube's That could be wishes. what it's about. There's no way of knowing. But I'm not going to... No, nah, I'm going to change it back to how it was at <laughs> first. Very okay. before you change it again. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, next Vikings will be the season finale. Yep. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Like this video. That really helps us out. Go check out the poll over at Patreon. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can find in the description. Including Twitch, Instagram, oh my god, so many stuff. Merch. Merch.